Good morning and happy holidays. This is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's edition of ISS Update. This day after Christmas, Wednesday, December 26. Joining us now inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room, consoles decorated with Santa caps and uh, Christmas trees where the team here has been monitoring the systems aboard the uh, space station and supporting the day's activities of the Expedition 34 crew members. Flight Director Greg Whitney is leading the Orbit 2 team here in the station flight control room today. And next to him is uh, astronaut Jack Fisher, who is serving as a CAPCOM, relaying all ground messages up to the crew. Now aboard the International Space Station is commander of the complex, NASA astronaut Kevin Ford, with uh, flight engineers, Russian cosmonauts Oleg Novitsky and Yevgeny Tarelkin, who are uh, in their third month in space and now have the help of three crew members, flight engineers Roman Romaninko, Chris Hadfield, and Tom Marshburn. The newest crew members of Expedition 34, Romaninko, Hadfield, and uh, Marshburn arrived to the International Space Station last week on December 21st aboard their Soyuz TMA-07M spacecraft after docking it to the uh, Rosfiat module following their launch on December 19th. Today, the newcomers will complete their fifth day in space. Meanwhile, they are aboard the station to greet the new crew members, Commander Ford, with the flight engineers Novitsky and Tarelkin launched to the orbiting complex aboard their Swiss spacecraft as the uh, Expedition 33 crew back in October. Their uh, vehicle docked to the Poisk module of the space station two days after their launch on October 25th, and today they will complete 63 consecutive days in space. The space station with its crew aboard is now flying at an altitude of about 250 statute miles. The orbiting facility is on a northeast-east track coming across the North Atlantic Ocean and will uh, eventually, in about 10 minutes, make a southeast turn for a pass across the southern tip of Ireland, the United Kingdom, Germany, Austria, and Romania. The Expedition 34 crew members began their day with some time this morning for work prep, breakfast, morning hygiene, and a daily station inspection. The crew then kicked off the day with the first of two daily planning conferences with ground controllers around the world to uh, review the day's activities and plan for the next set of tasks. Commander Ford began his morning working to uh, load new control software of gradient heating furnace to one of the experiment racks in the Japanese module. He then began working with a couple of science experiments. He spent some time reviewing the Lego bricks study that uses the common Lego bricks to uh, demonstrate simple science concepts and how construction works differently in a microgravity environment. Ford also had conducted a session with the reversible figures experiment that uh, studies whether the perception of a figure that can normally be seen to change in perspective or orientation in two different ways is affected by microgravity. Commander Ford also took time out today to talk with the University of Notre Dame earlier this morning. We'll replay that uh, live in-flight event later during today's ISS update. Ford and new station resident flight engineer Chris Hadfield had worked together for a uh, function handover review of correct pulley alignment of the uh, advanced resistive exercise device. This is the uh, exercise system that uh, simulates weightlifting here on Earth. Ford now performs a, uh, an hour of his daily two-hour exercise. He will then uh, close out the software load performed earlier this morning and uh, participate in a private medical conference this afternoon. New station resident Chris Hadfield kicked off his day with his uh, two-hour daily exercise using the advanced resistive exercise device and also the onboard treadmill. He then had some time for continued station orientation. Hadfield then relocated a couple of items stowed in the uh, experiment racks in advance of a couple of experiment operations that will be uh, conducted this week and also next week. Hadfield will uh, participate in a private medical conference and he'll also perform regular maintenance to the onboard waste and hygiene compartment. 
later he also will uh, perform a session with the reversible figures experiment. And flight engineer Tom Marshburn spent some time this morning with the uh, Lego brick study. He also had some additional time for space station orientation. Marshburn then conducted a, a review of the onboard refrigerator known as the minus 80 degree laboratory freezer. This is uh, used to store biological and experiment samples that require refrigeration aboard the International Space Station. Marshman also will participate in a private medical conference and will have time to work on an entry for the uh, journal study. Meanwhile, on the uh, Russian side of the house, flight engineers Novitsky and uh, Tarelkin work together on the topology experiment that looks at the effect of long-term spaceflight on a uh, crew member's psychophysical state, ability to uh, withstand stress and to uh, perform and to communicate. Novitsky performed regular daily maintenance to the SOJ, or the Russian life support system, while also Romanenko had additional time for crew orientation. Each of the crew members will uh, put in their daily two hours of exercise using the onboard gym equipment. Again, that includes a station bicycle, a treadmill, and an advanced resistive exercise device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. The crew will then wrap the day with a final daily planning conference with the ground and is then scheduled to go to bed at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.